there's a lot of problem solving that goes into it. It's more learning about how to decode the languages and the patterns within. It's just about having perseverance and knowing how to get around a problem. The Linguistics Olympiad is a competition for secondary school students. It challenges them to use their logic and problem solving skills to decipher or decode problems in unfamiliar languages. It could be anything from decoding ancient hieroglyphics to deciphering a, a, a metro map in Armenia or Sweden. Anything that requires students to use their problem solving skills to solve puzzles. There was one I remember doing called Inuit. It was just such an interesting language, you know, a different writing system. It just seemed like a pretty different approach to a language. And I just thought that was really interesting. The competition is really about being able to solve puzzles. Puzzles that involve language, puzzles that involve symbols. It's about decoding them. It's about working out the logic behind them. So it's not having to learn off words or know a particular second language or a third language. It's really about understanding what language is. I remember one of them, I really couldn't figure it out uh, and suddenly I thought, oh, maybe they don't read left to right like we do. And it was something that I just take for granted because all the languages that I know read from left to right. And as soon as I read right to left, it made sense and it was perfect. And it was, it's those um, kind of skills of thinking about things differently has really helped me. The situation today is that the companies are crying out for people who can actually problem solve, can think laterally and can actually use these kind of decision making processes in their everyday work. So we see companies like Google, Twitter, Symantec, Microsoft, the large companies are really looking for enterprising individuals who are able to problem solve. I'm studying computer applications in DCU, it's a software development degree. I started off as a competitor back in secondary school and a lot of the skills are transferable across. It's all to do with how we approach solving problems. There are so many applications for linguistics, so many different branches and different ways to go about studying it and then for careers, like there are so many opportunities these days. Areas of computer science, areas of linguistics, or areas of combined language and computer science, or engineering. So all of those areas are open to these types of students. It's rewarding to do for anyone who has an interest in problem solving and puzzles, anyone who's good at mathematics or science or anything like that. It's sort of like maths problem but in a fun way, like it's riddles and puzzles and stuff. I've participated in the international round and it was great to see people from all different countries, all different cultures and learn a lot about the world at the same time. That's not a chance many people get to do to actually represent Ireland in a big competition. To have the crack of people from Canada, from Slovenia, from America. You get to meet loads of new people and work together to solve the questions, so it's good crack, yeah.